Aquarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for November 28th through December 4th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Aquarius, what's going on? The overall energy for the reading, the Ace of Cups. Okay. All right, so possibly a brand new beginning in love here coming in for you. All right, let's see. In the recent past, the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Six of Cups. So there's a soul connection that shows up here. There's a little bit of a debate there within yourself. Should I stay or should I go? Kind of a thing. Uh, you are already gone by the looks of it, but there's still that... Mm, do I let this go? Do I not? Do I like how? What do I do here? Like, there's not that releasing, releasing. Uh, physically, you may have been, you know, distancing yourself. I don't know. There's there's some distancing here for sure, but there's still a little bit of um, inner debate there. In the current situation, the Knight of Cups, the Lovers, the Three of Pentacles, something shows up here, and it could show up in the form of a friendship or someone, you know, someone that's there. Uh, like hanging out with them. There's a little more than that here. Um, beyond the sense of, hey, let's catch a coffee or who knows. Um, all right. In the immediate future, the Page of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Empress. I mean, you're looking like you're open to this, whatever this is to you. Definitely feeling some sort of, oh my God, I'm feeling pulled towards this person, towards the situation. I don't even know what the hell is going on. But there's pain in the middle of you and whoever that is to you. There's some pain that shows up. All right, let's clarify. Let's see what's up. Let me see the Ace of Cups. Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Interesting. You're almost looking like you're starting over. Like, I, I kind of get the sense that what, whatever happened there in the recent past, that was kind of done eventually. Um, but you're still going through the loss of that. Even if you are the one that decided, okay, I'm done here, I'm out. There's still some sort of loss that's been experienced and some sort of pain that you kind of have to work through, kind of have to heal there. And you're actually in the middle of this process of dealing with this, basically, with the loss of whatever that was. I mean, I don't know if you're in the middle of it, but it's still popping in for you. And bam, the universe slams you with, oh, you know, here's love. And I mean, it feels good. It feels like, oh my God, this is everything I could possibly want. But that timing, I don't know. I don't know. You're almost giving me the sense, oh, I can take on both energies, you know, dealing with the pain of whatever I dealt with and this new thing, because it feels good. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Let's see, ba -ba -bum. let's see the Two of Pentacles there in the recent past. The Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. You wanted for that to work, whatever that was. I don't know if that's you, but there's an energy there that shows me I really want for this to work out, you know? Um, that's why the indecisiveness, that's why the back and forth, the, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm not ready to let this go. Uh, I don't see any fear there, any kind of anything. I just see um, a little bit of stubbornness in terms of I really want for this to work out, you know? Um, but that's just half of you that's telling me that. The other half is like, is having their back turned. Let's do the Six of Cups. Oi. The 
devil, the empress, the two of wands. And these are tricky energies. Um, pum, 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 pum. Almost like you're um, predicting that this energy is just around the corner, like, like something within you knew that whatever this is, is waiting just around the corner there. So I don't see you, maybe you knew this situation because it does look like maybe it's a friendship, maybe you, you've known them for a while, I don't know. But what they represent to you as it's shown up in the current and in the future, you didn't know at that time. You kind of predicted it, that again, this energy is waiting for you just around the corner. That wasn't the reason that you, you were kind of out of this situation at this time. The situation was unhealthy by the looks of it. There's something toxic that's in there. And it's not to say that there are toxic situations that are toxic are created by two people that are working on that toxicity usually that sustain that, that make that into something toxic. So it's, you know, you hear that all the time. Oh, it's them, they're toxic or you're toxic. Or, or no, it's not only one person that creates a situation that's toxic. But anyways, it's something about it wasn't right you know um let me do the knight of cups in the current situation seven of cups three of cups seven of swords yeah you're still in the process of moving on which is telling me that you're not done whatever it was maybe you're done physically maybe you put it behind maybe you said okay we're that's it that doesn't mean that your healing over it is done or that your pain that was caused by the situation, you're done with that. It's still yours, you're taking it with, you're in the process of working with it, you're kind of looking behind at the, maybe the possibility to go back, but there's, you're showing me, no. Um, you know, whenever that is being brought up, the possibility of that, you're kind of erased that too. So it's, and then you're showing me the energy of moving on, you know. Um, open to moving on so you're definitely ready to move on but this energy that's just around the corner kind of like hey what's up um which is very powerful very and again i feel like it's bringing in a lot of intensity and love and all sorts of things but let's see the lovers the five of swords the moon the knight of wands you are kind of holding yourself back here by the looks of it. Even though you want to push forward in this, which is kind of looking a little bit deceptive. If you feel that you want to move forward and you're pulling yourself back, you're kind of fighting against yourself there. You know, so that's what makes it deceptive. Um, maybe you're justifying it with, okay, I'm still dealing with whatever and I'm not ready, which again, that's what it, looks like to me and i would say you're probably right however i disagree with you fighting against how you feel here you know you can work with that you can work around that but try to accept how you feel acknowledge how you feel and embrace it you know and if how you feel is pushing you in one direction try to go with that see what happens and you'll take it from there um hmm you're kind of in a pickle here, I gotta admit, you're kind of, you know, if this is the situation where you're still dealing with some things that are not closed off and something new is shown up, it's quite intriguing, quite in a pickle. For the Three of Pentacles, you get the Page of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Hangman, yeah, there's a lot of um, self-restraint here, self like, oh. Uh, it is kind of remaining at the stage of, hey, what's up, whatever, how's the weather, oh, it's cool where you're at, yeah, I'm in the same place, I'm like five minutes away from you, but maybe it's raining by you, uh, I don't know, things like that, I mean, there's definitely an energy exchange here, hopefully it's more, you know, it's about the weather, with the page of swords, it's the freaking weather, there's a whole lot of not, not allowing yourself, to go with this uh, for how it's shown up. 
Uh, let me do the Page of Wands in the immediate future. Six of Wands, King of Swords, the Judgment card. All right, you're starting to build up your confidence, your sense of, okay, you know, we got it going on. We're good, we're good. So you're definitely starting to grow in opening up to this, to how you feel more than to this, which leads you to this. All right, all right, slowly but surely you're getting there. Let me do the Three of Swords. The Fool, the Six of Cups, the Nine of Swords. Yeah. That situation right there in the past is not closed for you. It's not looking like it's closed. It's not looking like it's closed at all. You're not even close to being closed. Uh, you still feel certain things about that. There's still the pain that was caused by that. There's a lot of energies that are coming through from that situation, even if maybe you're away from it. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. It still needs healing. You still need healing. Let's do the Empress. The Tower, the Two of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles. I mean... It's kind of interesting because I do see you choosing yourself at the end of the day. Like putting yourself first and being like, look, I need to do this for me. Um... Because you are recognizing, okay, there's still some stuff going on within me that I need to resolve. So um, it kind of looks like you're putting this aside for now. It's almost looking like bad timing, you know, the, the way this um, appears here for you. However, while you're choosing that, because it's very difficult to make this choice, but you are choosing yourself here. Uh, I don't see this going anywhere. If this is meant to be in your life, it'll come back. It's almost looking like it came back now to see how you're doing with it. Like, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Let's see if you recognize whether or not you're ready and you're, you know, you're healed uh, from... Because I feel like this is pretty... I don't know if it's recent, but what it brought through for you is here. You know, the energies that need healing. Um, interesting. Interesting. Let me see what the universe has. King of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Swords. You're a little bit conflicted. You're a little bit in your head about this particular situation because I see you, like, from a logical perspective, it kind of makes sense that you push this away or you keep it at a distance at least and then you get confused. But why? Because I'm feeling that I need to go towards it and things like that. So I kind of get you kind of going through these energies but from the mind perspective, which you got it. That's exactly what's going on here. Now, go back to your heart, see if it's healed, if it's good to go for the next chapter of your life, and then decide from there. It is coming through here as the energies grow towards the immediate future that you still need a whole lot of healing, which is telling me that you're starting to connect to your heart to recognize that, you know. And from that place, at least you won't be confused anymore. You'll know what you have to do. Um... Because it's for now, you're kind of stuck in the confusion of why am I rejecting this if this feels so good and so like well, what's wrong with me? Nothing is wrong with you, absolutely nothing. There's some energies that still need your attention for now, and whether or not you can play this off while dealing with this situation too, really up for you to decide. But remember, at the end of the reading, you're showing me I'm choosing myself. I got to take care of me through this. So. Anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.